Here's a video showing how to use a small PABX, they call it a SOHO, small office, home office, PABX, to form a small telephone network. This unit has a row of jacks on here. These would be for your outside CO telephone lines if you use those, and then a row of jacks here for your local telephones. This one takes up to eight telephones. There are some units that will take up to 16. This unit is designed for two outside lines and up to eight local telephones. I have five telephones connected to this unit and by default this one requires a three-digit code to call another station so I'll pick up this phone, dial 601 and it rings this phone, pick it up and we can talk and while these two people are talking I could pick up another phone, dial 603 this phone rings and these two can pick up and talk, have a conversation. Pretty decent unit. Uh, a couple of things that I don't like about this particular unit, uh, I've worked around the problems as best I could. Uh, it's not very good at driving mechanical ringers. If you have electronic ringers, as these first two phones do, where they tweet when they ring, this type, it works just fine. Mechanical ringers, this one has a mechanical ringer, works pretty good on this one. This has a mechanical ringer and it works very poorly. That's pretty lame. This is an old Ma Bell phone from the 70's. Won't ring that one at all. If I pick it up and hold it close to my ear I can hear it click inside and that's about all it does. So it doesn't work well with the mechanical ringers. I think it's putting out 60 Hertz instead of the normal 20 Hertz AC. And the other thing that I don't like about this particular unit is that when you call another station, if they don't answer by the fifth ring, it hangs up and disconnects, gives you a busy signal if they don't answer promptly. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't just keep ringing until they answer. So if they aren't right by the phone and answer right away, uh, you got to hang up and try them again. Other than that, it works pretty well. Like I said, it'll take up to eight phones. And uh, I've run lines over uh, between buildings and uh, with several hundred feet of line. I think my longest one's uh, six, seven hundred feet long. Works pretty well, although I do get a little hum on the line though. Uh, so there's your basic setup. Uh, as I say on this one, it's got two ports where you could hook your uh, household telephone line into it. And you do have, to, on this model at least, you have to do a little programming to allow it to access that phone line and then tell it what to do if that line rings in. You know, whether you want to ring the phones or have the auto attendant answer the line, uh, but then you could pick up the phone dial 9 and access the outside line to make an outgoing call. But you don't need to connect an outside line. You could just connect telephone lines to it. Uh, your basic diagram, you got the PABX unit, and just connect your telephones into it and the optional telephone line. Um, as I said on this, it requires a three-digit code to dial one of the other stations. That can be reprogrammed if you like. You'll have to read your manual. This particular one comes with a really fine Chinglish book. Um, but I have some codes that I got out of the book. And it does tell you if you want to change your code for the intercom dialing, you can. You can have from one to four digits that you dial. And you can reprogram it if you want. You have to go into programming mode and then dial codes to reassign the intercom numbers. I'm going to do that now so that I only have to dial one digit. So I'll go into programming mode, dial pound star zero 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 zero, and then it'll beep telling you you're in programming mode, and then nine zero one one pound, wait for the beep, nine zero two two pound, nine zero three three pound, nine zero seven seven pound and nine zero eight eight pound that reassigns all the intercoms now they're single digit and then I'll enable the CO line so that's available just line one to all the stations by dialing zero six zero one pound and then seven one pound and that takes care of the necessary programming so now I can dial another station just with one digit.
The next step is going to be connecting two of these together. Over here I've set up another PABX unit with four telephones. One of them is cordless, I'm running out of phones. I've got two modular patch cables and I'm going to cross connect the two PABX units. So I'm going to connect to the CO line of one unit and station 8. Could be any station, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to plug those into the CO line and station 8 of the first PABX unit. I'll just move these cables out of the way. Now if I pick up any one of these phones here and dial 9, it accesses the CO port which connects to station 8. So now the phone here will be connected to station 8 over here. So it's as if I'm now over here, which could be in another building. And then I can dial any of the stations over here. So I'll pick it up, dial 9, and then I'll dial 2. And it rings telephone number 2 on the other system, which could be in another building. Or, if I'm over here, I can pick up one of these phones, dial 9, accessing this PABX, and dial one of these stations here. So I'll dial 9, access this system, and press 3, and ring this phone. And we can talk. Of course, I've only got the two lines between, one for going in one direction, one for going in the other. So if I call over here and say, ring this phone, and we're having a conversation, somebody here also hits 9, they get a busy signal because the line going in this direction is busy. Now I could still pick up this 9 and call over there using the trunk line going in the opposite direction. But there are some limitations. Now if you want to take it one step further, you could dial backwards over the trunk if I dial station port 8, it will ring back in on the CO line here and cause all these phones to ring, depending on how you have it programmed. Right now I think it's just ringing the first two phones. Or I could program the automatic attendant to answer the line, play a recording, telling the person, well, oh, press 1 to ring station 1, press 2 to ring station 3, or 2 to ring 2, 3 four, five, whichever station they want to ring. So you could have two calls going in one direction. And you'd wire it up like this. Your two PBX units, you have several phones connected to each of them, and then you cross-connect station eight, or whichever one you want, to a CO line of the other, and station port back to a CO line of the first one. So now you can dial between the two. There'd be limitations, as I said, on how many calls you could have each way, but if it's not being used too heavily, you'd be able to call between the systems and you could have these located in two different buildings and not require a lot of wiring between the buildings. This would be one pair of wires, that would be another pair of wires. And if you only had just one pair of wires between the buildings, you just connect the station to the CO line and going from this direction to here, you dial 9 to access the CO and then dial an extension. But going in this direction, um, you, would, you would dial station 8, it would ring in here, and it would either be ac um, accessing the auto attendant to select a station, or it would just ring one or more of the stations here as you had the system programmed to do. Here's a partial diagram of how I connected a PABX unit to our office telephone system. I'll be following this with a little video clip. This is our office telephone system. It's a multi-line phone system with many phones in the office. These are our incoming telephone lines from the phone company. But one of those incoming phone lines is actually connected to a station port of the PABX unit. If somebody picks up a phone on the PABX and dials number 8, it rings in like an outside phone line. And then somebody in the office can answer it and maybe transfer it to one of the office phones. But anybody in the office can pick up this line, they'll get dial tone from the PABX unit, and they can either dial one of these stations, which are phones located out in the plant, or they can dial 9, access one of the CO line ports, which connects to another PABX unit in another building, and dial additional phones out in the other building. 
And here's a little video showing how that works. I have interfaced the PBX system to our office telephone system. I've connected one of the station ports of the PBX to an incoming CO line connection of our office telephone system as if it were an outside line. In this case I've connected it here to the third line key which I'd marked PBX. And if I pick up that line, normally these would be our outside telephone lines, but in this case I press it, I get dial tone from the PBX unit. If I dial a number like 3, it dials one of the stations on the PBX. In this case it's a cordless phone that I connected. And I can press the button and answer that call. Testing one, two, three, four, and I'm talking to somebody out in the plant. Okay? Or if I'm out in the plant and I want to call into the office, I can pick up one of the phones in the plant and dial an extension. In this case, it was port number eight, which I'd connected to the office. Dial eight, and it rings the office phone system. It looks just like an outside line ringing in. Anyone in the office can answer the phone, and we're talking. So that's how I interfaced the PBX to my office phone system. It connects just as if it's an outside line to our telephone system in the office, and to the PBX is just one of the station ports.